Morning guys, what's going on? It's actually mid-morning. We've been up and at them for a while. Today is the day. The quail are going to go to a new home. We have a viewer actually coming up from Arkansas. Have enjoyed them, but they are more or less not a good fit for our farm. They're easy to deal with. They're easy to maintain and they do give eggs but we have been covered up in quail eggs all summer long but the problem is those eggs just don't go as far as chicken eggs we made the decision that they what were our input doesn't match our output with the quail so they are going to go away and decided to give someone else the opportunity to go and get started in quail all right so oh, wait, here we're here with Chris. She came all Hi. the way from Arkansas to pick up our quail. As long as there's air movement, that's that's the key. That is so. She's actually not had poultry before, so our quail are gonna be her first poultry experience. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a new home starter, so I'm just learning. So what are you growing this year? What are you, what are you besides the quail, you're gonna start on quail this year? What, I, what are you I'm growing grow? tomatoes and cucumbers and four different types of squash and hot peppers and bell peppers and loofah. Oh, I'm really excited oh, about the loofah. Fun. I've seen a lot of people growing soap. loofah. Yeah. So not only did she drive six hours to get our quail, but she made us some soap and and she made this a cowl very nice. be nice in winter. It's very snug. Very cozy. There they go. Kind of sad to see him go, but I love to watch him drive away. <laughs> I think it was one of those experiments that we did that, um, you know, you don't know until you try. Right. I'm glad that we tried it because now we know that right now is not a good time for yeah. us to have quail. And I would say quail really work, would work really well for someone who doesn't have some of the needs that we have as far as uh, feeding a lot of a lot of kids uh, but uh, you know and and needing more production from their animals it was a good it was a fun experiment uh, glad they're going to a good home One of the ways that I've been trying to combat the weeds in our garden is to pull up the weeds that are growing and then lay them down just as a suppression cover so that it just suffocates all these weeds. You can see I've done it so far in these rows. The green rows are the weeds that we've pulled up or the vegetation from just going through the garden picking up the, um, the dead plants and things like that. Um, I did a lot over here yesterday and then just I've been working on it for the past week or so. I've got a lot laid down um, and along the edges of the garden too where the grass has grown up. We've kind of let it grow up so that I could do this and just cut it down, put it down for a path. Um, these rows right here all have that old straw that we put on a while back but right now in our area straw is pretty expensive so we've been looking for other ways to try to control the weeds. We have been using our paper feed sacks that um, our pig feed comes in and the chicken feed. And like over here, we've kind of, we've just taken up the grass, laid the bags down, uh, opened them up and laid them down, and then piled that grass on top. And that's worked really well. We've been doing that a lot um, in our melon patch, then those bags will just break down over time. Um, but it's working really good so far. We can tell the plants that we've done that around um, up in the melon garden have just thrived compared to the ones that we haven't done that in yet. And then our cucumbers over here. Oh, wow, those are really pretty. Thanks. Okay. 
Our cucumbers over here are just going wild. We only planted, I think, three plants or maybe four. Um, we found out that my wooden stake and twine trellis was not sufficient enough. Jeremiah had to come in and put these um, metal stakes. What are these called? T-posts. These metal T-posts in. And he actually ended up putting another one in here, so it kind of makes a triangle and then some wire. Um, but they are just going crazy. We're getting a ton of cucumbers. I'm really excited to start pickling. I've never done it before. I think I'm going to start with refrigerator pickles just because it kind of makes me a little bit nervous to try it out for real. So we're going to try that and then hopefully at some point get into actually canning the pickles. The one, the one cucumber over here. Let's see if we can find. Do you, did you find one? Yeah. Where? Right here. See that one? That's a big one. Where? Oh, do you think we should pick that one? Yeah. I think we should too. There's a bunch of them. I see a bunch of little ones. We've started to have to stake up our tomatoes. We're getting a few little ones. Let's see if we can find one. They're just little ones on here right now. But actually our volunteer tomatoes are doing the best out of all the ones that we have. The ones that we planted on purpose aren't doing really great, but these ones have quite a few little tomatoes on them. So it's kind of funny how that works out. Did you get a pepper? Yeah. That is a long skinny pepper. We can. I, I wanna, I'm gonna make it for daddy's one. Okay. Over here I've got two varieties of lettuce that I'm just letting go to seed. And the flowers are, starting to come out. It looks really ugly. It's kind of an eyesore in the garden right now and we are not eating this lettuce because it's kind of better. But it'll give us some seeds for next year. What's going on over here? This is our raised bed that we made out of an old fence that we had. And we have tomatoes in here that have outpaced uh, our need to put a trellis up for them. So they have, they're, they're actually doubled over right now. So that's what I'm working on tonight, trying to put a pellet or a trellis on it. And I am also watering this garden. Uh, this was kind of my pilot garden for putting, putting in this drip line hose or this soaker hose in it. Um, and so far the soaker hose has worked okay. We haven't had a need for it because we've kind of had like seven inches of rain in the last couple weeks uh, but today it was a high of 90 so we're giving them a little water tonight this evening it's funny i saw these tomatoes uh the other night and they had just kind of cascaded over this this raised bed and i was like oh i didn't know we planted tomatoes right next to the raised bed but it was actually the tomatoes in the bed so we really need to get this trellis up or this cattle panel up so we can tie them off and get them growing up instead of over. I think that looks a lot better. Yeah, and I think they'll appreciate being up off the ground. Me and Jesse have been out for the last couple evenings, just spending time in our garden, um, really just kind of learning. Because this is our second year out here doing a garden. And one of the things, one of the takeaways that we have from our garden this year, I think, really is we need to go a little larger. We need to be more specific on what we do one of the things that we've talked about recently is we saw earlier we were making a trellis for our raised bed and we really like the idea of raised beds and we have all of this space here that you can see that jesse's working in that's our main big garden and it's uh 
It's about 24 by 42 feet. I think our biggest takeaway is it's not as big as we thought it was. And we're not as good at amending soil, getting it ready, things like that. And Well, I think the thing is like with me, when I'm starting seeds, I think, oh, this is going to be a ton of seeds that we're not going to even be able to use all these plants. But then we lost a lot of tomatoes this year and peppers. And, and by the time everything starts coming up, we realize we don't have enough. And so I think our mindset just to be needs to be we need to plant extra. We need to plan for failure. We need to plan for needing more. But that's one of the cool things about gardening is you learn a little bit. You know, there's a lot of people that say, hey, you got to do it this way. Hey, you got to do it that way. But I think one of the things that we're learning is you got to do it what works for you. Yeah. You have to kind of learn your methods and you know you're gonna fail but start growing something because you'll never know if you don't so that's kind of our kind of been our mo uh, i really like i mean i don't like failure but i like learning from our failures and i think that's one of the best ways to learn is finding out what doesn't work yeah and then you can figure out and then you can figure out what does yeah and i think that's uh that's definitely kind of our motto here is learn from failure <laughs> yeah. and and not in a bad way you know like hey we're gonna try this and see if it works garden was not as carefully meticulously planned as it probably could have been this year and also if you see me around here pulling weeds and you're like oh there's probably a better way to do that there probably is but i was telling him last night i really love pulling weeds and i will go on my hands and knees and do this whole garden she really does she's been, a, she's been in a great mood it. all week it's a really what <laughs> she's been in a great mood all week <laughs> It's just really like I can think and I can just think about things while I do it and it makes it's good hard work and it it's makes everything work. look good and yep. and then I have something to show for it after so so that's why I like weeding. And it's really good to be able to get into our just get into something that you've worked on all spring, you put a lot of prep in and then actually see fruits of your labor. So that's one of the things, even though we're, maybe we're not the most prolific gardeners, we still enjoy doing it because you can see some of the fruits of your labor, you know, and it, right now we're harvesting almost on a daily basis and we're yeah. getting... After all the hard work in the garden, you get to bring stuff inside and yep. that's, that's and, just a and reward. Good things to eat and you grew it, you know where it came from and that's, uh, that's really what we're trying to do here and we're passionate about that. We love that. Uh, and, and, you know, we, we seem to be a little more protein based towards animals. I think we both gravitate a little bit more to that side, but gardening is definitely something that we, we love to do. Hey, make sure you like, and subscribe, uh, and comment. Tell us what you're growing this year and why you're growing it. We'll talk to you guys soon. See ya.